What's up, YouTube? Night's Edge here again. Got a pretty cool little unboxing for you today of a knife I got off of Amazon. Uh, trying to, well, I said it in my last live stream, actually, if you were there, you know, but I'm um, trying to do a thing where I kind of do it once, at least once a month. Uh, the more subscribers I get, the more um, channel members I get, you know, the more funds, whatever I get rolling in, you know, from this. I'm going to, you know, try to put a little bit back into it at least. And, you know, uh, kind of hard to do but here we go on this one let's see what uh this one's got in store for us this is an amazon knife never heard of this brand before this was 20 bucks on amazon i think maybe a little bit cheaper than that maybe maybe 17.99 i don't know uh, this is also going to be a giveaway and a disassembly but I had to do a video unboxing it checking it out kind of showcasing a little bit first so without further ado oh also let me go ahead and do this hit the like button if you like the content subscribe right down there if you want more of it i really appreciate it appreciate all my patreons channel members you guys are awesome and without further ado all the way from amazon with that roaring lion on the cover perwin knives made in china of course Perwin D2 pocket knife green and this is the Perwin knives PTK 03 SSGN dash US new <laughs> check that out all right so let's see what we got here kind of curious about this one uh, not to don't have too many reserves about knives from Amazon cheap knives from Amazon it might be a turd might not be I don't know they do give you a microfiber cloth though so that's pretty sweet of them. Got a little uh, snack in the in the box right there. Herwin knives. Let's put that up there. The knife out. Don't really have any uh, product warranty information there. So yeah. Nice of them to include the free plastic. So let's see what we got here. Erwin Knives. Hmm. Look at that. Actually, not bad on the G10. A little, uh, a little rigid around the edges, but not too, too bad. Not the worst I've ever felt by any means. Got a pretty pronounced flipper sticking up there. Looks like they got some thumb studs on there that seem to be in fact removable let's go ahead and try that out at the t6 right here yeah yeah they are indeed removable so let's go ahead and we'll do a we'll do a quick size comparison between two pretty popular knives here folded there you got the spyderco paramilitary 2 and the spyderco para 3 straighten that out there so almost as big as the paramilitary two definitely bigger than the pair of three all right go over a few more features of it before we uh do the little flipper rooney here you can definitely tell i'm an older millennial using terms like that all right so they doesn't it does not appear to have a captive pivot unless they got a d-shaped pivot barrel uh it's like it's running on bearings Pretty cool little uh, design on the pivot there. Nice, nice. Uh, interesting texture on the G10. Not super, um, not super awesome. Not super terrible, really. Deep carry pocket clip. Screws aren't inset or flushed out. No backspacer. Not really that terrible looking of a knife so far. The blade should be pretty interesting, but uh, yeah. All right, let's give her a flick open. Let's see what she's got here. Okay. Kind of a, what is that? What would you call that? Got a little notch, a little poon notch going on there. Definitely got a belly on it. Maybe it's a drop point. And uh, yeah, I guess drop point. Those kind of meet up there. Have a drop point, harpoon drop point maybe? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. You got per one in big letters in case you forgot there on the blade on the other side you got d2 
the blade's coated. I'm almost positive that's not going to be a DLC coat on there. Probably just uh, paint. But uh, yeah, pretty cool that's in D2 instead of like 8CR or something. That's a little bit of an improvement, in my opinion, depending on how well they heat treat this bad boy. Action on it. Thumb studs work really good. I would probably recommend the thumb studs. You can definitely haven't done it yet, obviously, but uh, got a feeling you can definitely. Well, eh, maybe not. Let's see. Yeah, you can definitely fail this thing for sure. But if you put a little bit, of, a little bit of force into it, you can definitely flip it open. You don't need some no uh, wrists or anything, so that's good. Reverse flick. Yep, that works. That works. All right. Let's take a look at that liner lock on there. No jimping. It does uh, stick up a good amount, good enough to where I can't really complain about the access to it. And does it have what is known as a double clutch? Clear the detent right there. And almost. Push it over. Get your thumb out of the way quick enough. You should be good. But uh, almost has a double clutch. Yeah, see, I did it there, where it's hitting the my thumb whenever I clear the detent. But just be kind of careful with it. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Reverse flip works all right. It's not the smoothest one ever. But this is a twenty dollar or a seventeen dot seventeen ninety nine Amazon knife, I believe. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's check the centering on this thing here. Centering didn't come too bad, it doesn't look like, right? It's like it's fairly centered. Check the blade play. Not really any blade play, that's awesome. So not too bad, man. Other more established companies will get away with charging uh, 35, 40 bucks for something like this. Maybe even 50, who knows? All right, looking at the blade, you've got a choil right there I don't think no that doesn't can't can you trigger pull you can put your finger at the bottom of this awkwardly shaped flipper tab yeah but you can't really use that as a finger choil it's more of like a sharpening choil which is kind of odd because it's not that deep so after a few sharpenings you're gonna get up to this point right here and you'll definitely know it after that let's go ahead and do a hardware check on this like i said this is uh not really the format that i usually do so i'm not gonna do a review on this knife i'm just doing kind of like an unboxing first impressions and getting to know it a little bit that's a t20 so that's not what i need is it go ahead and check this what is that t8 is t8 hardware no all right, T8 on the pivot. So T8 on both sides of the uh, pivot there. What is that? T6. T6. I'm betting everything else is T6. T6 on the clip. Three, T6 on the body screws. And T6 on the thumb stud. So I wish it was T8, but for $17.99, I believe. I'm almost positive. I know I keep changing the price on y'all. But uh, can't really make too many complaints on it. It does have removable thumb studs, so that's awesome. Uh, especially if you use like a slide rod sharpening system, a uh, fixed angle sharpening system. You can get those out of the way, take them off, and do your sharpening like that. That's pretty cool. T8 is great on the, you know, that's perfectly fine on the pivot. No issues there. T6 on the body screws. Wish they would have done T8 all the way around. But again... $17.99 for this one. D2, G10. Is it comfortable? Yeah. yeah it's actually it's actually not too bad. Um, I said a little bit of contouring. A little bit of... Maybe you get a little bit of sandpaper even. Kind of sand that down a little bit. Just maybe knock it off of there. Of course, that would void if... I don't know. They might not even have a warranty. I'm going to be honest with you. But... If you take a little bit of sandpaper kind of around these corners, that would probably help a little bit. But it's not killer or anything. It doesn't exactly dig into the skin or cut you or anything like that. So ergonomically, I'd give it maybe a C plus. 
almost a B minus maybe. All right, there's your paramilitary two up against it. And here is your Spyderco pair three up against it. So uh, looks like you got what I would say is essentially a full size knife right there. Uh, but let's go ahead and measure anything over eight inches on this channel, in my opinion, I have to say all that is a full size knife. So from the tip of the blade to the end of the handle, you were right at eight inches. Yeah, maybe a hair over. Um, three and three quarter. I'm going to go with three. Yeah, right at, right at maybe three and seven eighths. If you go all the way back to where the choil meets up with the handle sharpening, sharpened blade length. I got three and a half right there measuring like that. I've got a little more than three and a half because it does have a little bit of a belly going on there. So what I would say is a full size knife. All right, let's go ahead and do the caliber. Just running through this real quick. Not, uh, like I said, not my usual format, but we're going to check out uh, do a basic overview of this thing. 125 thousandths on the spine. And what you got behind the edge, 22 and a half thousandths, not too bad. 54 thousandths, or 530 thousandths, I'm sorry. A little over half an inch for the uh, handle thickness. Is it got liners? Yeah. Yes. Huh. It is. It does have liners in there. Okay. And as I said before, liner lock. Not too bad of a little knife, really. I'm going to do a little bit of a disassembly on it whenever uh, I have my live stream on Saturday. So this one will be a giveaway after the disassembly and reassembly. <laughs> Hopefully, right? If it goes well. Um, it will be a giveaway knife to somebody so definitely come 9 30 a.m. to the garage and check out the live stream do a weight on this bad boy 4.2 ounces all right so that's not too bad a little over the ounce and inch ratio but not too bad at all really uh, feels like a pretty good what I would say is a pretty good beater knife a pretty good you know throw in the glove box knife throw in the center console knife Something like that. Definitely seems like I would think that D2 would hold an edge at least enough to get you through whatever you need to get through in a pinch. Let's check the, let's get some paper out here. Should have had that ready. Should have had that ready. All right, here we go, here we go. A little slice of Rooney here. Oh, helped if you uh, use the edge, right? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Kind of coarse, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Almost. And let's do. Let's do this side. Here. Okay. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Slices paper anyway out the box, so I gave you an edge on there. Could have been a ton better, but I mean for $17.99. A little paper residue on there. Uh, let's see, what do you what edge angle do you think that is? What is that? Maybe a 18, 19 degree. 20 degree edge bevel, not too, too bad. You know, of course, make that your own if you win this on the giveaway. I think that's it, y'all. Oh, let's do blue jeans. Got to do the blue jeans real quick. Almost forgot. In pocket. You carry pocket clip. Not bad. All right. So, this is going to be the giveaway knife for the live stream coming up. Video might be posted afterwards. So stay tuned, but today being Wednesday, 11, six, November the 6th, I think uh, the upcoming live stream after this is when the giveaway will be. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I'm so glad that I can at least kind of start getting some kind of something to, to do a giveaway, a semi-regular giveaway with, you know, uh, 
I appreciate all you guys' support. Appreciate people who have given me knives to give away. Uh, you guys are awesome. It it's really blows my mind that people give me knives to give away. That's crazy. And I uh, appreciate all the live stream attendance, all the members, channel members. You guys are awesome. Hit the like button if you like the content. Subscribe if you want more of it. And hopefully I'll see you guys 9.30 a.m. on the live stream. Hope you have a great day.